What I need to know is how a two-month-old baby gets 25 broken bones and nobody knows anything. So I got a, a phone call and my daughter was hysterical saying that the state took her baby because he had a broken leg and she didn't know what happened to him. After the hospital transported him to another hospital, they did x-rays and they found like 19 fractured ribs, four in his leg and two in his wrist. So when I asked my daughter what happened, she said she don't know. She had a C-section, so she was taking a bath. She had other people babysitting, watching him. I understand all that, but for you to not know what happened to your baby. There's three different people that I know of that she said had sat on him accidentally. Another story I heard was um, somebody close to me was sleeping with him and rolled over on him. It pissed me off when she told me that she didn't know what happened or who did it. No answers. I don't believe my daughter broke my grandbaby, but I believe she knows something more than's being said. I would know. Is she covering up for somebody? Is she protecting somebody? Nobody knows anything. If I had a baby, which I've had four, I would know what happened. It wouldn't have happened. I understand my daughter had a C-section and I understand that she needed baths. When I took a bath, my babies went with me. They sat in a car seat next to the bathtub. Hearing that my grandbaby had been sat on at least three times, I don't understand why he was left on the couch. I mean, multiple times. I never left my babies on the couch. So I brought my daughter here so that we can get answers. It's been a year. I haven't got to see my grandbaby. My daughter needs to clear her name if she's innocent and she needs to help me to find who did this to our baby. Honestly, if she fails this test today, I don't know how I could ever have a bond with her again or trust her again because my grandbaby is not even in my family and my life now because nobody knows what happened to him. Tommy, how does a baby get set on three times? It wasn't all every time that he was set on. It wasn't on just the couch. One time was the bed. And the Which couch. makes it even worse. I mean, uh, he would uh, be able to trust that a baby is um, able to lay on a couch and it's like he had per blanket protection around him. Nobody pays attention. There's children running around this house. Nobody, nobody cared enough to pay attention to what was really going on. I was in a self, selfish environment. I was, I was let down. I noticed my baby had the bruises. I was told that I wasn't being taken because CPS was not needed in the house. I didn't know what to do. I was, I was abused myself. I was alone. And I was lost again. But that doesn't explain how baby gets sat on. This isn't one time, this is not two times, this is three times. So after the first time, what did you do to make sure that nobody sat on your baby again? Again, I thought I did everything in my power as a mother to protect mine, and I didn't. You're right, okay. I wasn't. I, w I was not. Listen, I'm not trying to beat you up, okay? I do it every day myself. <laughs> One, you're a new mother, you're very young, and this is your first child. But we're talking about 25 fractures. I mean, is, is it just a total failure on your part? No, I'm, it is a failure on my part. I'm, I'm a, it is a big failure on my right. part. I put trust in the people that I grew up around. I relied on these people when I had nothing. I was homeless. I was in a really... You were homeless when? When I was pregnant. When you were pregnant. I was pregnant and I was homeless. And I was doing what I was supposed to. I What's the relationship like with you and your mother that you couldn't stay with her? Um, well... I was young and I didn't listen to my mom. I didn't like the word no. I didn't, I didn't do what she said and I did the opposite of what she did say. 
So I have learned my lesson this past year. I've been doing everything that I'm supposed to do. Because your child got taken away. Yeah. How long has your child been taken away? A year. A year? Yes, sir. And it's in foster care? Yes, sir. And they took the child away because of all the fractures and everything? Yes. Right? Um, for legal reasons, we can't talk about right. certain people because we don't have a release to talk about them. But wouldn't you say that whoever some people were in this house where the babies, would you say those were violent people? Yeah. Okay. Weren't you, weren't you nervous that your, that your little baby boy is around violent people? Well, like you said, I can't really talk about the situation. There was only one that was very abusive and had a background history. And you let that person watch your child? At the time, he was with everybody. It wasn't just him. I never left but, him alone. But I'm saying, here's a violent person that you know for a fact is violent watching your son. He didn't seem violent to my child. He loved him. He oh, nurtured him. He Come did. On. I mean, you know somebody's character. What would stop, if they're violent, what makes you think they wouldn't be violent with, when you're violent, you have no control over your emotions. Babies cry, babies annoy. Do you regret making that decision? Yeah, I regret it every day of my life. Uh, did you yourself cause any of the fractures? No, sir, I would never. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing to try to get your son back? Um, so they want me to work on my mental health. They want me to, they wanted me to just stabilize housing. I've, I have a <coughs> nice two bedroom apartment for my baby over and ready, waiting for him. We have food in the house. Is there any end, end date where you see yourself, like they say, okay, this June maybe you get your son back? I don't know. I don't know. Did you ever witness anybody no. causing injuries to if your son? If I did, I wouldn't be here trying to figure it out. <laughs> if I knew, I would have went immediately. Let me ask you this. You have no idea who did this. No, sir, I don't. See, that concerns me. You're saying before you had your baby, life was tough. Yes, very tough. And it was tough. a struggle, right? It was a, a But you were sleeping with somebody, right? Uh, yeah, he it was. Was, 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 was that a good person or a bad person? It was, see, the person that was in my well, life. I'm not asking you all that. Bad person, good person. I don't know. I was sleeping around with multiple see, men. I don't even know who my dad is. That dead. right there is the problem. When I'm sleeping with somebody, or when I did when I was single, I knew if they were a good person or a bad person. I mean, they, people put on these fronts to make but you seem who they nothing are. Nothing said, warning, I shouldn't get pregnant by this person. I, that's what I'm trying to tell you. He wasn't the father of my child. But even the person that did get you pregnant. I was reckless. I had made mistakes. That's what you're not listening. Ask me a question. Let me finish, please. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Okay. I was doing, uh, I was going to parties, I was drinking all the time, and then I found out I was pregnant. A week prior to me even finding I was pregnant, I didn't even know what I was doing. I was a jackrabbit. I'm owning okay. up to my mistakes. Okay. So you're telling me, your own words, you didn't end up with the person that got you pregnant. No. And then you entered into a relationship. I couldn't leave. Once I was in, I couldn't leave. I was homeless in the vehicle with me. I couldn't leave. Now he's gone, I and can talk and freely. You and you couldn't have called the police? Like he, that was gonna do anything. Anytime I, mean, I did, they called, let him go. It's called trying. Uh, anytime I did, they let him go. Okay. I mean, come on, man. Tommy, you know you could have called <laughs> any moment, any moment, and I would have took you and the baby to the hospital. You know that. You didn't have not nobody. Mom, our last words weren't good, and how can you expect me? How can you really expect me to come to you when you had made it clear to me that you wanted nothing to do with any of the family? How, how was I supposed to feel like I could call you, Mom? I didn't feel like I could. I felt like I burned my own bridge with you. You made it clear to me that you wanted nothing to do with me and my baby while I was pregnant. How could I call you then? How? But I called you, didn't I? When I found out his body was broken, I still haven't even seen 19 of those fractures. I've seen the leg. The only thing out of any of those fractures, I've seen nothing but the leg. Everything else is hearsay on the 19 other fractures. I so haven't you don't seen believe them? No, I don't. They've, they're refusing to give me his, his, his uh, records because I don't have... He got have... sat on three times. Okay, and it was the leg. See, I... So, but I'm saying, he got sat on three different times, and you don't believe he might have 25 fractures? One of those times was by a little... Are you little ready to be a mother? Yes, I'm ready to be a mother. I've taken parenting classes. But you won't, I have stood you won't strong. believe that your son was uh, severely injured. You I'm only believe saying... in, what, nine fractures? 
wrong with you? A lot of, a lot of things are wrong with you. I think that where she was at was really reckless, and they are family, and I did wash my hands of the whole family, and that's why she went to them. But it is heartbreaking to not know, not know. Nobody knows anything. Three people sat on them. Another family member rolled over on them, and, and she told me that. Did she explain how she did that? She, his leg got caught in her jacket. And that's how she rolled all around. Mm -hmm. You've met your grandson? Twice. Is it hard for you not to know, like, it's your grandson's really hard. not with you? It is. It's very hard. It's very hard. That's the only system of support she had was this... Uh, Dysfunction. Dysfunctional family members. What is she going to do all by herself with the baby? Um, I mean, do you trust her? All by herself to take care of a baby? I do trust her. Oh, you I, really I do? do? I do. I know it's hard to believe, guys. I, I mean, that'd be rolling the dice, right? I mean, I, That's a big crapshoot there. We have gotten a lot closer, and she has her own place now, and she's doing things better. Yeah. She's doing what she's supposed she's, to do. She's making strides. She is. She's making, she's, okay. she's doing it. What, but what, how is she, like, okay, she got her own place. What if she needs somebody to watch the baby? Because everybody does. At some point, you need somebody to watch the baby. I Can would I hope that, that she would call me. I actually found some, some daycares that are willing to do that, so they're going to be a licensed place that can actually take care of him. Um, I am going. There we have this uh, place where I'm from that teaches you all about domestic. They teach you about all the red flags that you need to know. So I'm going out and I'm actually trying to seek the help to learn from my mistakes. I love my baby with all of my heart. Since, since I was little, I've always wanted a child. Never did I ever imagine myself here with my baby. Let me, let me, I, wanna, I, wanna, I don't want to give it a wrong you know, perception of what I'm, 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 I'm thinking here. Nobody's rooting to, like, take your baby away from you, okay? But I'm sorry. If you're going to tell me stories and you want to code over some things, then I'm going to call you out. What do you think is Oh, I think the story, number one, was when you were in that uh, relationship in the car. I can tell that you what the street you were on and where, okay. what town. I don't care. I think you're lying. You're not going to convince me that... You're not going to convince me in a pregnant state that the police show up, we're not going to lock them up. I'm sorry, I don't believe that, okay? Don't even fix your lips to dispute what I'm saying. You want to tell that story? Save it for when you're off the show. Um, <laughs> but I do believe that you love your son. I do believe you want him back. I do see a woman that knows that she made a lot of mistakes. And quite frankly, we all make mistakes, and it's what we do once we make them to make sure we don't do them again, right? Okay. Now, if you fail this lie detector test, I gotta imagine you're never getting that baby back, right? All right, Tommy, you came here and you took a lie detector test. We asked you, did you strike your infant son hard enough to cause any of those fractures? You answered no. Did you ever witness anyone physically abuse your son? You answered no. Do you know for sure how your son received any of the 25 bone fractures before the age of two months old? You answered no. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Tommy told the truth. <laughs> Once you have a child, it's no longer about you. I know. OK. It's, it's about the child from then on. We wish you luck in getting your son back. But if it ever happens again, one fracture, two fracture, where, listen, accidents are going to happen, kids get hurt, but nobody should be sitting on that child, rolling over on that child. You're right. That <laughs> cannot happen. Absolutely. So, listen. You keep doing what you need to do to get that yes, sir. your son back. And I want you to let us know. I want you to keep in touch with us. Yes, sir. And I want to know, like, hey, Steve, I got my son back. We're doing great. All right? Yes, sir. Good luck, you. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.